Hi, it's Mark from Training Spark. In this video, we're going to show you how you can customize the appearance of your H5P activities. Now, in case you're not aware, H5P is a brilliant tool that you can install on WordPress and many other platforms. And what it does is it gives you the option to create lots of different types of interactive activities like interactive videos, course presentations, flashcards, quizzes, and it's kind of the perfect companion for tools like LearnDash because you can bring these into your learning content to make the learning experience much more engaging and interactive. And it's free as H5P, it's a free plugin that you can download on WordPress and start building these types of activities. So there are lots of different types of activities and it's really the, the platform for actually creating these activities is really intuitive and uh, easy to use. But what it does lack is some aspects of the sort of appearance of these activities. So the scope for changing the, the design of these within the standard plugin settings is very limited. What they tell you to do as part of you know, H5P's own documentation is pretty much create your own uh, CSS um, style yeah, style sheet here and uh, bring it in using either a plugin or a theme customization here and add your own styles and personally i would avoid that i've tried that before and it's quite time consuming every h5p has its own um, style sheets and some are global style sheets and some are unique to each one and it's like spaghetti code trying to find out what controls what you got to spend a lot of time with developer tools and find certain elements and then you've obviously got to write that CSS so you have to be familiar with CSS to be able to use something like this. So I would avoid that unless you've got plenty of time on your hands and uh, are a, a glutton for punishment. What you can do is install a great plugin here called Design Upgrade Pro for H5P by Escape Creative and we'll put a link to that in the description of this video. But what I'm going to do is show you the basics of how we would edit a H5P activity using that plugin. So logged in as an administrator, what I'll do is head to the dashboard, head to plugins, and then add new. And then I'm just going to upload the plugin. So if you buy that plugin, you would just get a link to a zip file like this that you can upload and then activate. So once that's activated, what we can do is head back to that H5P activity, which we had on this page here. And what we're going to be editing here is an interactive video type of activity. And this is one of our favorites because what it does is it allows you to overlay interactivity on top of videos. And uh, it's a, yeah, a really, really useful tool is this one. So what we do is head to customize at the top while we're logged in as an administrator. And after installing this plugin, what you'll find is you have this design upgrade pro for H5P option within the customization options here. So we have a few options here. We have global styles, which would be uh, applied to all H5Ps so what you find is that each H5P will have some individual styling, but then there's certain global styles that are used across all H5P activities. Um, so these ones are slightly different, but what you might find is that you want to change some of your global settings like border radiuses, border thicknesses, text colors, and things like that across all of your um, H5P activities. And there's certain things here you can do in terms of like content containers, and like global button styles here. So what you'll find is that uh, on certain things like quizzes, for example, um, you have this, these button styles here and you might want to change that. So that's something that I'll do now actually. So we have um, a button here and uh, I'm just going to change that to a different color. So if you remember that that's blue, I'm just going to change that to purple here. And um, I'm going to change the hover color to green. So that'll look pretty horrible, but um, it's just to, to show you how that would look. 
And what I would point out here is that the changes that you make here don't necessarily appear on here straight away. So what it says at the top here is changes may not be visible in the customized window. Click publish and view them on your live site. So what I'm going to do is click publish and then close this off, which will cause the, the page to refresh. And then when we refresh and head back to that quiz, you'll see that we now have a, a purple button that hovers over green, which is what I chose there. So that's one thing we can customize there. And if I head back to customize again, we'll have a look at a few of the other aspects. So we'll just reopen design upgrade pro for H5P. So what we did was change there a, a button color but what we can do is look at some of the other activities here and interactive video is the type of H5P activity I have here. So I'm just going to open that one and we can see what other aspects of this we might be able to change. So one here is that we can add a border radius which is like curved corners on the video player window here which is, is quite a nice touch. So it says the value here is in pixels. So if I add something here like 15 pixels what would happen is the player would have slightly rounded edges when it when it saves. So that's one option. We can also change things like the video player color here. So uh, by default, this is sort of a dark gray, but perhaps I want to make it more like this um, turquoise color here. So I'm not gonna go in and find what that color is, but I'll just guess it for now, something like this. Um, and you can change the color of the icons as well. So by default, they're white. I'll maybe just do a, a very pale version of whatever that was. Um, and uh, just select that, for example. So once we save that, what we're expecting to see is rounded corners and this player being a slightly different color. Let's have a look at some of the other bits. So we have a few options for things like interactive buttons and um, interactive buttons for quizzes that we can change here. So uh, what we'll maybe do is change the background for uh, this simple background to orange um, and um, we'll change this quiz background here to maybe this uh, red here. So we've got a, a very multicolor interactive here. Um, so what I'm going to do is just click publish. And when we come out of here, the page will refresh and we should see our customizations that we've made to this interactive here. So we can see that we've got these rounded edges, which is what we set with this border radius. We've got this background color and that actually looks quite close to that color there. But um, yeah, it's uh, this nice turquoise color and we've changed the color of these icons. And if we go into the activity here, what we'll find is that I think I chose red there for that one and you know, different types of um, uh, pop-ups that appear within the video are colored in the, the, the colors that we specified when we uh, changed the settings there. So this would save you a ton of time compared to what you would have to do if you were going down this CSS route, uh, you know, literally hours and hours of time here saved by using this plugin. And um, that's just using the interactive video type activity, but there are customizations for all of the main ones that you can see on the H5P platform. So a massive time saver, a great plugin, and something that would really help to customize the appearance for your H5P activities in your learning platform. Hope you liked this video and if you did, please give the video a like and if you'd like to see more like this, please subscribe to the TrainSpark YouTube channel.